So it looks like things are taking an interesting turn now. Get it? Interesting turn. Yeah, so I guess the big hoopla going on on the YouTube circles regarding this plane is that some people think it's a hoax and some people are, it's, you know, this thing is real. This is a 100% authentic, bona fide story. And, you know, we can't always say everything is a hoax, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about this whole everything is a hoax gag where when people point out BS in the media, it's like uh, the knee jerk reaction is, well, you, are you saying everything is a hoax? Oh, everything's a hoax. Nothing happens in the world. No, that's not what's being said. The idea is that when they cover their stories, they're telling us BS. So in my mind, it doesn't even matter whether something is real or a hoax or whatever. It's always their story. That's the problem. It doesn't matter if this thing is real or this thing is fake. It just, it's, that's not the point. And I think fighting over that is a distraction to take you away from the idea that you're better off not believing anything they say anyway. So it doesn't really matter if this one time that this big event is real. It doesn't matter. What are, are we supposed to what? Okay, so let's say, let's say um, we agree that, okay, yes, this thing really happened. This thing is an authentic story. This is real. Are we supposed to now give the media a cookie? Are we supposed to say, oh, well, the veil has been lifted. They're, they're going to tell the truth from now on. Is that, I, don't, I don't get why the, what, what the big deal is that they might have told something real for once. And it's kind of interesting that this is also happening around the same time that Brian Williams admitted to telling a lie. One reporter admits to telling a lie, and it's all over. Big story. Wow. Brian Williams told a lie. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting that these two events are going on uh, simultaneously that, you know, people are so diehard that this incident here is real and people need to open their eyes and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's at the bottom of this. doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. There's nothing's going to um, change on the basis of one real story. So what? People are calling it a hoax. So what? Likewise, so what? People are calling it real. I say stay out of it all. It's all quagmire. It's all just a quagmire to keep you locked in to their world. Don't bite. Save your energy. Gaslighting is any behavior or imparting of information that has the effect of making the target distrust their own perception in order to disturb the target's peace of mind. You start to doubt your reality testing faculties. The goal is to confuse the target to the point where he slash she cannot trust their own memories or perspective. The idea is to confuse the target who may start questioning their senses. Create a collection of key phrases and topics. These triggers are then mentioned in the most casual conversations in an attempt to confuse and upset the target. There is also a strong pressure implied that the target better stop acting crazy if he slash she wants to continue being thought of as a reasonable person. Any attempt to share the gaslighting events with others will only isolate them further from others who may have a hard time believing that these events are other than normal misfortunes. No, it's your imagination that's just not likely. The target is subtly encouraged to normalize. 
If left suspended in this state, the target may begin to doubt their own experiences, memory and their very self. Disturb the target's peace of mind. The goal is to confuse the target. Create a collection of key phrases and topics. Confuse the target. Disturb the target's peace of mind. Stop acting crazy. It's your imagination. Making the target distrust their own perception.